Well, folks, as always, of course, we have thanks to Kaz's Twitter page, the latest batch of silhouettes for this month, the May update. Three cars this time. He is hoping that we get a circuit of some kind. We'll have to wait and see, of course, because we never know at this point if there is or not. The three vehicles are a bit of an interesting trio. They definitely won't be for everyone. One of them in particular, I think, will probably ruffle some feathers. There will be some fans of it, but I think... A fair few people will probably roll their eyes, at least if the prediction is correct. And of course, if you want to get in on stuff like discussions and predictions about this kind of thing, I would recommend joining the HSG Discord as well. There's a link to that in the description. And we always talk about this new stuff whenever they drop every month. What appears to be the top vehicle, I would say, is definitely the easiest of the three. Pretty instantly recognisable as a Gran Turismo alumni. Of course, the 1965 Alfa Romeo Giulia 1600 GTA. Iconic classic makes more sense, I would say, now that we have the newer Julia GTAM as well. Doubtless there'll be plenty of opportunities for twinning liveries and photo shoots that people will do. It's a pretty damn good little classic. It always kind of reminded me of a good rival to the BMW 2002 Turbo as well. Similar kind of uh, similar size, similar shape. Not quite the same in terms of performance or in terms of age, but just a similar vibe that they gave me. This one will be potentially quite good for really technical circuits. It's a very small, very lightweight car. I will be curious to see if there are any interesting visual updates. We'll have to wait and see, of course. The next one, going to the right, is the one which I could see some people being disappointed by for sure. And that is what is quite obviously, and pretty undeniably, an R32 Skyline. The question is, what kind of R32 Skyline is it? Now, my first thought was actually one of irony, because I was getting ready to release the trailer for my latest batch of special projects builds, kind of like my own version of car packs each month. As many of you are already aware of, I like to release them at the start of the month, and then Polyphony releases these at the end of the month, so it gives players more things to do. One of the builds, spoiler alert, that I've done for the next pack is a Mines R32 Skyline to accompany the R34 Mines build that I did before. So my first thought immediately went to, oh, they're bringing back a Mines R32. Now that could still happen, because they don't usually show decals in these silhouettes, but I don't think it is a Mines. It doesn't look quite right. Here's hoping it is, but it looks, and again, credit where it's due to the Discord, more so than myself here, that it looks like it could well be a GTST, an R32 GTST. There were a couple of these, both non-premiums in the older games, as recently as GT6. There was an 89 shape, a 91 shape. Obviously a lot less power. I think they had like 212 horsepower, something like that. So... Yeah, kind of an interesting choice if it is that. I mean, sure, JDM cars all have their fans, but in terms of the larger, broader community, mm, I'm not sure how well people are going to take to this one. If I recall correctly, I think these ones might be rear-wheel drive. I'm not too up on the GTST, but if my memory serves me correctly, I think they were rear-wheel drive rather than all-wheel drive. But yeah, kind of a kind of an odd one, if it is that. And it's going to be ironic, because if a lot of people end up defending this car, then I'm going to take issue with that, considering that I suggested having a huge update where we had all of the duplicas and all of the variants, or duplications, and all of the variants are stuff like Skylines, S2000s, and all that, all done in one update, and then just get it all out of the way. So if people didn't like that idea, but are now supporting this... Well, I call BS on that. <laughs> now, the third one is the most interesting of the three to me, and this one is what appears to be a GT Award winner. Back in, I think it was 2018, a SEMA show winner, a 71 shape Ford Maverick built up by Greening Auto Company. It was a custom for a customer. It's got a twin turbo 351 Windsor engine. Interestingly, 1,100 horsepower and 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, standing mile at 202 miles an hour, so it definitely isn't slow. These kind of cars, though, and I've said it before, as interesting as they initially can be in the game, I've noticed very, very few of them end up getting used a lot by players. It tends to be one of those cars that we ooh and ah at for about five minutes and then never use it again. I know for me there are barely any of these that I use, 
So we'll have to see, you know, if it's extremely quick in a straight line, then I'm sure some people will use it, maybe for drags or for route X. But overall, I could see this being one of the less popular updates in terms of the three cars. The, the classic Alpha, you know, it's unassuming. You can't really dislike it, but I'm sure some people just won't be interested. The Skyline, I will be very interested to see the reaction on. And even in terms of the uh, Maverick, it's interesting. But like I said, how often will many players really use it? We'll have to see, of course. So if there is a circuit this time around, and if it's not just a, a variation of an existing track, here's hoping and let's wait and see, I think the track could well be the star of this month. We'll have to wait and see though. I certainly hope that's the case, because if not, uh, I don't think it's gonna be, I don't think it's gonna make too many players too happy if this is this month's big deal. But overall, that is it for what appears to be the three vehicles. And of course, with the update coming out this week, we'll have to see uh, when the trailer drops, what they are. That'll be our confirmation. And then, as always, of course, I'll give my thoughts on the update as soon as it drops, the end of the same day, and then of course review the three vehicles on their own in the days after. But that's it for this update. Of course, I'll see you next time. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.